weather experts say a heat dome will be setting up shop over parts of southern and Ontario and Quebec this week. Bottom line, it's going to be really hot and extremely humid. Here to explain what a heat dome is, is Environment Canada's senior climatologist, Dave Phillips. Good morning, Dave. You look nice and cool. <laughs> well, I'm indoors and I know what it's, it's like. A, it's like a, a heat, uh, torrid heat outside of where I am now. And, and for the rest of the week, Marcy, I mean, it really looks like uh, this is the first one of the year. And, and that's always concerning because you know, we need to be reminded of what to do under situations like yeah. this. We never look at the calendar and say, oh, I better get ready for heat waves. But no, uh, this one is upon us. There's no escaping it. You can't go up to the cool spots of the different provinces and, and find some uh, some cool area. This is a, a gigantic from Atlanta, uh, Georgia to Atlantic Canada. And, uh, and certainly in Canada, where in, we're seeing in Ontario, Quebec, and into Brunswick, uh, it is really uh, a very dangerous kind of situation because it's expansive. It's the first one of the of the season, Marcia, and that that really is often the the worst one because we just don't know where the cool spots are and how to keep stay cool. But a heat dome is like a high pressure area where the air sinks. It just comes down, it squeezes all those air molecules and jiggles and jaggles them and they get more heat and you, the heat doesn't leave. It just collects there. It, the sun bakes everything under it. It gets excessively warm. There's no weather gets in there. It's just like putting a, the Rogers Center over a part of a big piece of geography and uh, it just gets worse day, morning, day and night and it gets worse as the week goes on. So what then breaks apart the dome? Because as you mentioned, this heat is not a one or two day event. I think it's what, four or five? Exactly, and record temperatures, Marcia. And it's not only the heat, but it's also the humidity. And, um, and there's no sort of circulation within that. What breaks it down is generally the kind of, um, of weather patterns from west to east. And eventually it breaks up. We see all heat domes have gone in the past, but but it's the duration of it. It's the five or seven days with record heat. And we also find, Marcy, at the end of the, of the heat dome is often the worst because you're just not used to it. The body can stand one day or two days of heat. And so far in Canada, we've had a couple of days above 30, but the nighttime temperatures have stayed below 16, so or 15, 16, 17. So this one, the problem is that we're seeing humidex values into the 40s. We're seeing daytime highs into the 30s and nighttime temperatures, those tropical nights in the 20s. That 40, 30, 20 is just an ugly combination. And, um, and there's no escaping it. And, uh, and so it tends to get worse. The body can take often resilient enough to take one or two days. But four or five days, we find that usually the hospital admissions, the health concerns uh, seem to... Uh, uh, go up as the heat uh, dome, the heat wave continues. And Marcia, yeah. come on, this is the first one, but not the last one. We're seeing this summer looks like it's going to be warmer than normal. So we expect more of these, uh, these heat kind of uh, episodes. And, uh, but typically by Labor Day, we'll be veterans of the heat wars and we'll know how to handle it, you know. Uh, but my advice really just, I mean, it, we just do what our parents and teachers told us to do to keep Keep cool and find those cool spots, and uh, and and but always remember the kids and the pets and cars and and, and, and that you know, have, exactly yeah. and and people who have health related issues because under this heat, Marcia, you can become confused and and delirious. I mean, that's what heat exhaustion and heat heat uh, uh, cramps to heat exhaustion can do. So always look in on your friends and neighbors and relatives to make sure they're coping. Hey, have you got enough uh, cool water? Or do you, do you want to go to the shopping center or to the library for a couple of hours and, and get out of the heat? Because this is a thing goes on all morning, noon, and night. Yeah. And so there is no escaping it. And, uh, and so that even in, in places where it's, you have cool air, like in Ontario, we can't even go to the Muskoka because it is just as hot there as it is here in, in Toronto, Ottawa, or big cities, Montreal, uh, Fredericton. It's... Um, it really is concerning. And you're expecting records will be broken. Yes. I mean, uh, temperatures, when you see temperatures of 34, 35 degrees, hey, I mean, and summer doesn't begin until Thursday. Right. I yeah. mean, my gosh, right now the talk has been where is summer? And by the 
by the time we get to Thursday, people are saying there's too much summer. And that's what the heat often does to you. It just uh, wears you down. We're, we're used to the kind of weekends we had this weekend last, where temperatures were 20, 22, lazy days of summer. But this is uh, excruciatingly hot, even for fit and athletic people. So, hey, uh, find a cool spot and, uh, and look in on your friends. All right. Dave Phillips, always great to have you with us, Dave. Appreciate it. Dave Phillips okay. is Environment Canada's senior climatologist.